Hi, welcome to this uh, new video tutorial. Today I'm going to uh, get you through the process of installing Hotman desktop on Windows. Without a further ado, let's uh, go to our browser and type uh, Hotman on Google search. And here directly we are presented with the Hotman website. This is HTS slash slash um, hotman.io. So we go there. What do we have? We are presented with this landing page. We go to download and then choose the installer. Uh, it will take uh, some time to download and then when we go to uh, this page here if we click here on this link we can see uh, different versions let's go to download and we can see different versions of uh, operating system different type of operating system that are supported by the portman desktop so we have Windows, Mac, and Linux. So each of them you can, for each of them you can directly uh, download the installer here and install it. So let's go to our installer. It's downloaded. We right click on that. Go to properties. Here it's in German here, but if you're English or other language, you should have like security here. So we have to enable that accept okay then double click then we will request start uh, the installer it's loading the installer for portman desktop and then we are presented with this one here so okay updated new versions we don't need any update for now so after we got this one with this uh, nice uh, dashboard here we have containers nothing is there images volume kubernetes extensions so this is what we currently have now we only have uh, the extensions so we go here and then set up portman so portman is not there so we have to set it up install it so portman is not installed would you like to install it yes and then we are presented with this page here so you just have to make sure that you have uh, the visualizations which is enabled in your hardware some hardware if your laptop for example does not have visualization support maybe it's there if not is this there not yet enabled on bios so you need you have to go to the bios and activate it and then for that you can see uh, my tutorial on prerequisites for installing docker in my channel you will find the video there or if it's already enabled like this one here in my laptop then not we don't have nothing we have nothing to do just click on windows linux subsystem then go for it and then we accept bam it is installed so here is um our portman is installed now and then we can also see here that okay we can make some configuration so that our portman engine will start automatically when uh, when the auto start is starting when when the uh, portman desktop is starting when portman desktop start the portman engine will also start so we enable that here now uh, we click now to set up uh, the portman machines So right now we don't have any portman machines so we have to install it again so we have to install portman engine which is already there now 
and then now you have to set up the Postman machine. So here the default you can give any names here so you keep the default which is Postman machine default and then we keep all the settings here portman with root privileges here enables here and here you disable uh, user mode networking and then start now so that's what we have and then we can create it so it's going uh, it will take some time depending on the hardware configuration it is loading it is loading so you can see the load locked here what is happening we are getting the email source copying that and then writing manifest to image destinations okay it is successful we are importing operating system into windows of linux uh, system which may take few minutes now bam it is successful now so what do we go now portman install everything is should be okay now now if we go to the extensions here we can see that everything is okay blah blah if I go to settings, settings here, I go to resources, you can see that our portman machine is off and running. If we click here, we got the details about the CPU, the disk, the memory, and then, and then everything. So here is the terminal. What do we have here are the proxies, the registries, authentications, CLI tools, Kubernetes, references, resources, and everything. So here we have set up now our desktop, set up Portman, created the Portman machines. So now what we can do now is uh, we just have a few minutes. So I don't want these things to be long. And then let's pull one image. So let's go ngx. We pull image from the registry. Uh, it's loading. So after setting up, sometime we may have some issues. So let's um, close and restart again our portman and now if we go to the image go to pull here and type here ngx and then let's uh, try for example to pull this image ngx server here from docker.io and that one we pull it we can see that everything is being installed we don't need to go through uh, the command line or the terminal so our download is completed now so we can see that our image is ready and then now if we start our image try to start it start our container here we can see some default settings here advanced networking security so the default port here is 9000 for our ngx server 
and then let's start our container now we can see that our container here is the run and then if we click on the options here if we open the browser bam here so our ngx server is running so here is just a small uh, demonstrations of what we can achieve with that so yeah so in this now we have set up our portman desktop we have pulled uh, we have created uh, we have created uh, we have installed uh, the portman engine also created uh, the portman machines which is here running and then the next thing that we have done is to pull the image from here install it and then have our container running so that is it for this video and then uh, stay tuned for the next video so yeah bye